Okay. Okay. Well, here we are back on Project Babyface, which is my Sunday project where I'm trying to get facial capture animation out of the iPhone 10 to see if I can use it for my game and for trailers and stuff like that to bring all these cool baby characters to life. Now, I want to show off a couple new features that I added to try and make everything better. Now, the first feature is eye tracking. I added eye tracking so that now I can look around and it's so much cooler because I don't have to stare in the same direction all the time, which honestly was giving me a little bit of a headache before, but whatever, whatever, who cares? But now I have eyes and I can look around and it's pretty cool. The, th the second thing I did, which was kind of the key um, feature that I really needed, and that was the ability to record the data so that I can then put it in Maya and then from Maya I can do all kinds of other things with it. Okay, So if you look down here, um, I added some features where I can name files and um, and basically I can record everything I want to as a, as a text file and then I can convert that text file to a um, to a, a maya.anim file which would then drive all the blend shapes and stuff like that later but I'm going to show you that in more detail later so if you have like ADD or something like that you could just skip ahead but I'm going to show a couple other features before we get to that stage okay so the other thing I did just because it was really fun and um, I wanted to see some of the other characters, the work in progress characters that I had, um, that I'm working on. Um, just because it's cool and they're pretty fun. I mean, they're not as cool as I am, but anyway, let's check them out because it's kind of cool. So here's Bentley. Hey, hey everybody. Bentley Brook here, just um, coming to you from the, uh, I guess this, this iPhone face capture test. Um, anyway, I just wanted to say hey, and um, hey, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. All right now, see ya. Yo, what's up bros? Hey, I'm Maniacal, and, um, and I guess I'm here doing a facial capture test. How boring, really. This is like really kind of boring, but hey man, you guys have fun and um, I am going to go do something else. See ya! So that's what I'm saying. They're not that cool, but it's kind of fun to see other babies, you know, and um, if you're doing a performance with a particular character, of course you want to see that character because, well, because it's just, it makes it better. Really, it just makes it better. So that was kind of cool, but um, really the thing that we're focusing on today is Maya Capture. So here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize the interface, and then I'm going to start to capture some stuff. Make sure all my other things, my other cameras are going, because there's all complications. I have this crazy rig right now. See, like, look, there's like a camera here shooting me, and then shooting this phone and then I got another phone in my hand that's on this crazy rig. You can't even really see it here, but whatever. So back to this ghetto situation. Now, um, as soon as I start hitting record, it's going to grab data and then hopefully if this test works out the way I want, then um, we'll be able to see this stuff in Maya right at the same time. So here we go. One quick test. Boom. Recording data. So now this data is going right into Maya and I'm going to do some, I'm going to put it to the test. Okay. I'm going to do fast talking things like like fast movements of my face. And here's another one. And now don't hold me to this because this is like funny looking. And I'm not a horse, but I can do a horse well. But check this out. Da 
that's pretty cool. I mean, that means that 60 frames per second is pretty good uh, as far as capturing those kinds of subtleties, or at least enough of those subtleties that you could make it a little better later. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm trying different kinds of facial expressions and head movements because that's another feature I added was that I'm, I'm, I can capture the head motion now. So as I move my head back and forth and rotate, that also is getting in there. But the thing is, once I get a motion capture suit going, which we have a cool XN suit, and that's the next test, then um, I'm going to use that as the way to track the head, and it'll be much cooler. So I'm going to make a cool helmet and then we'll test full body and full motion at the same time, like full face and full body. And um, I think it'll be fun. It'll be cool. And uh, that'll be like in a week or two, right? Because because I only have so many Sundays, which is kind of a bummer. I wish somebody would invent a way to make more days. I need more days. I need more days. There's too many things to do and not enough days to do them. Seriously, somebody needs to invent more days, okay? Elon Musk, who cares about rockets? I mean, I do, actually, that's pretty cool. But I don't care about them as much as I care about time. I need more time. More time. So anyways, um... I guess it's a pretty good test. Whatever, right? Who cares? I just want to see how it looks and if I can get good expressions. Ha <laughs> ha! And then put them in my game. Ha! <laughs> because then I can do cool stuff. Even people who play the game will eventually, they'll be able to make their own faces, record their own audio, and then put that in their game as their character. How? How? fun yeah baby yeah baby all right so whatever's man i'm gonna go and um you guys have a good time and uh we'll see you next time right with with hopefully a full body capture oh the other thing i forgot to mention is that i got new blend shapes in here see i'm new and improved um it could be much better but it's still um some progress so as you notice my articulation is a bit better. Ha! Anyways, so until next time, where with more improvements, um, well, we'll see. We'll see you later. How's that? All right, people. Let's get out of here. This is dumb. Seriously.